and what is going on YouTube just another gaming channel bring you just another video so guys we're back with the Xenos 4 set this was the last video that I just um, uploaded with this particular armor set on um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to individually change each piece so you can see the difference of change the change in differences uh, as we go piece by piece and then we'll look at the whole lot look at the whole armor set as a whole and then we'll start playing around with some colors so the next one should be the shore as I understand it it should be yeah the shore on it so um, when you apply on that okay first of all we've got a color change um, we've got f an extra two of these spiky things I like the fact that they've gone with the uh, the orange and blue again. We've got the Vanguard logo there. Um, if we just take that back a sec. Yeah, so you can see at the chin, you can see at the chin, um, you've got additional protrusions, um, extra frameworks on the faceplate, uh, just a lot more added to it I think, even though there's not much there, um, just these little details, I think that's what make, you know you know, guys, if anyone's watched my armour sets, you know I love I love armour sets, uh, I think I want it on the channels that do armour sets, so um, that's probably why some of them have got 10,000 views and I've only got 800 subs, but I appreciate 800 subs, don't get me wrong, um, so we're going for the, let's have a look at the difference there, we apply the shore there, the shore ornament. I'll supply that. So, the difference is, da -da -da. so it's obviously we've got a colour change, a slight colour change, not much difference there. Difference in materials, um, it's slightly chunkier, um, looks like it's more armoured than anything. Um, we we'll just go back to the original. Yeah, just a little bit chunky. Change of colour uh, and change of change of materials. So nothing, nothing outrageous. That's the original. That's the short one. Right. So let's go for the Cena Shore. Um, all right. Let's have a look at this bad boy. So, uh, it's going to be this one first. This is the Xenos Shore ornament. So, big change there. I really do like this. Um, I mean, you can see the colours coming together now, can't you, with the helmet. Um, you've got a radio, you've got a, a sort of light beacon. Um, it's definitely a lot thicker material. I suppose that matches up with the armbands. Um, and the colours are great, I think. Got some. You got one sleeve that's blue, one sleeve that's brown. I like those little little, little details. Uh, all these, I've got all these zips for extra pouches and pockets. Um, this feels like it's more of a um, a scout or a frontline commander type suit. Uh, if you compare it to the original, the original feels more like a let's walk down the corridors uh, researching some stuff. Where this feels like you'd be out on the on the front lines or at least commanding a platoon. Am I wrong? Probably. But there's something about that that looks really cool to me. Um, so we'll get to the boots. We'll get the Xenos Shore boots on. So these boots, um, remember the original, got this red inner lining and it had a red marking on the original. Um, so this is going to be these uh, this Xenos Shore. So these are dark blue, I do believe. Yeah, dark blue with the white line. Um, pretty straightforward. Just matching the colour of the rest of the suit. Um, but gotta say, looking looking pretty snazzy. Looking pretty snazzy. Um, We'll get in there and we'll have a look at the. Uh, so that's the original armband there. Let's get in and have a look. 
apply the show one. Uh, slightly different, another, ho another hologram. Uh, you've got the, uh, the Vanguard triangles there. Um, but ultimately, I think this is a uh, this is a cool looking dude. It's a very cool looking dude. Yeah, that's right. Um, much better than the first armor set, I believe. So if we get into the colors, we can check some shit out. Okay, now I like the Vanguard Unity. It always stems back from Destiny One for me. I really like the Vanguard Unity stuff. Um, one arm blue, one arm orange. They've done almost like from number one. It's a little bit orange that though, maybe. Um, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Shall we have a look at say? Hmm. Let's have a look at. Uh, let's, let's have a look at Iron Wolf again. This should be silver and brown, do you believe? Hmm. Not a fan, personally. Not a fan. It's okay. Just looks a bit ordinary. Um. Ooh, Crucible. This is going to be bright orange. This is going to be. Sh well, I think. Okay, mainly white. Never mind. Looks pretty snazzy. Running around in Crucible and say, like, "Hey guys, here I am." Shit, man, you don't you don't want to be wearing that. That's like Sniper's Dream, glow, glowing up like that. Okay. We've got the New Age Black Armory. Not bad, not bad. It's got the red trim on top. It's not too bad at all. More serious. Right, let's look at Bloody Tooth. I like, I really like Bloody Tooth and Wall Brick, but I don't know if it's going to apply well to this. Not too well, no. Um, that's that's just pretty pretty ordinary. Um. War brick. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Is this another ordinary application? That's a little bit snazzier. Silver helm. Uh, Grey silver coat and arms. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um. Come on, guys. Go do the mad monk. Maybe we should do some dead orbit. That's not bad. When you get close in, the, 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 it'll probably look like carbon fiber on some of the yeah on the helmet and things. It's, it's not a bad looking, not a bad looking dude. Uh, what about the refurbishment that is the the failed one from? It's not the failed one. It's the older one. You know, from the from the new age black armor is the other one. I do have it, unless I've, I've run out and lost it. I might have run out. So the Arctic Dreamscape, how's that looking? Not too bad. Not too bad. Eh. It's seen better. It's seen better days. What about oh this is really really old dead orbit this. Damn. I like the newer dead orbit they brought in the with the greens and, and, and you know, that was the last one they did. Um Oh, Iron to Steel and the other Dead Orbit, okay. Oh, that's a... No, I don't like that. But it's a nice green. Uh, but that brown helmet, though. Um, the Dead Orbit. I don't know if it's going to work on this. It worked great on... Uh, it don't look too bad. It worked great on Hunter Cloaks with the... With the, fu <laughs> the Future War Cloak itself with, with this shader on and the armor set. It looked great with the ornaments on. Um... They definitely need to bring back. They need to bring them back. That's not very good, is it? They need to bring back all the all the dead orbit clans and whatnot. But don't challenge. Just have them like they were in Destiny One. Have them open, where each season there's a new set of armor, a new set of weapons, and random rolls. And oh. Destiny One, in a way, had more to offer. It had more. You know, every every time there was a release, there was a lot more weapons. Every every NPC had a release of weapons and armor sets, armor sets and weapons. Every time there was a new release or a season. Oh, that's pretty cool. Gambit Chrome. That looks nice. Yeah. 
So as you can see guys uh, that's that's a big difference um, from the original and I, I think this is a this is a much better looking version um, I think personally I had this before and I just changed the helmet to uh, orange so it was the, uh, the Vanguard orange and just left everything else as is but um, there's just more ha there's just more going on with this armor set I think that's why I like it Anyway guys, that's the Xenos Shore set, um, it's the second set in this set of three and uh, I'll be uploading this one shortly and be straight on to the next one. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you on the next one, so cheers.